Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right, I've been asked a very interesting question by uh, by Raging Madness. And he said, which which five premiums would I have uh, if I could have any of them? Well, I have got basically all of them. And uh, so, I'm going to do a list, but there's a caveat. Because what I would suggest is having two premiums of each country. So, not just one of each, but if you're going to go for a country, then have two of them so you can swap the crew between the premiums more easily and say if it's like two fighters, two heavy fighters, two bombers, two of, of each type so the crew can easily go across from one to the other, gaining experience before you transfer them into a higher level plane later on. So that's that's just something that uh, that I wanted to put out there before I get into the uh, into the list. So here goes. So looking at them, there there are actually eight in the list, but um, five of them I would say are only relevant. So the reason I've picked eight when to five choice is because the i15 bis is not normally available. It was given to me for beta testing, so uh, that's not on the list. The second is the uh, the I-207-4, which is the Christmas plane, uh, the birthday plane just gone, which it won't be available all the time. Then we have the uh, the Blenheim Mark IV, which isn't always available. So a combination between this one and the IL-10, which isn't always available, sort of makes the list five-ish. So, Let's have a look at the uh, the lower levels. So starting off tier three, we've got uh, two planes. So we've got the uh, I-15 bis and the uh, and the Blenheim Mark IV, as uh, purely because of their characteristics and the the bombing ability of this, which is very unusual and, and a nice, really nice, fun plane to uh, to play. The I-15 bis is very good uh, dogfighter, Ve also very fun. Then we come to uh, to tier four. Tier four, we've got the uh, the 207-4, which uh, won't always be available, but it's an incredibly good dog dogfighter. Plus, it's got a couple of bombs, which is really really useful. Coming through to tier five. Any tier fives? No tier fives. Okay. I'm to, I was cutting the list down to as close to. There, there are other planes of these tiers which are good, but they they don't make my top five list. They might be good, and there are combinations of factors which keeps them out. Tier six, none. Tier seven. The XP seventy five is the is the only tier seven to make the list. So the X XP-75 is in there. We then come to Tier 8. Tier 8, you get the uh, ME-109. Very, very good. You get the XP-58. Very good plane. The Seafang. It's basically a Spitfire with a bit, bit more legs. And the IL-10. And that's, that's my complete top five list, and then with a couple, a couple of others that are good planes, which aren't normally available. So I hope you like this, and I've got to say a great big thank you to my buddy Raging Madness for actually posting this question. There will be links to the... Uh, I've done reviews on all of these planes, so if you're interested, follow the links. But that's my uh, my top five. I hope you like it. I'm the Gaming Bear, and if you've got any questions as to why the planes are in, please ask. I'm happy to, to answer any questions. But that is my my overall list, so I'll show you the, the whole list again. So, as, as they're listed in uh, countries, so we're looking the ME 109TL, the I-15 BIS, the I-207, the XP-75 and the XP-57. Then the Brits get uh, the Blenheim 4 and the Seafang. The Russians get the IL-10M, and this this is trying to cut the numbers down. There are other others which are close, but I was asked for asked for a top five list, and it still came out to eight. So uh, the, I I will be doing a a top ten list as well, but this is my top five list. So thank you so much, guys, and see you on the next one. Bye bye.